All right, I'm here to make a video for you guys, showing you guys the Think Diag um, tool. This is a wireless OBD2 tool that you can use on your vehicle. This can program keys. This can program uh, turn keys, the regular turn keys to start the car. This can do push start keys also, and it can also scan your system. It has special options to get to special menus and everything on your phone. I mean, on your vehicle, I'm sorry. And... Uh, basically it just connects to your cell phone and you can do all this from your cell phone um in my experience using this tool i've done 2024 hondas um 2020 hondas i did i did a 2019 accord the other day a 2021 crv with this one also just the dongle it was super quick um from my cell phone i didn't even have to take out my computer um i just used this um also yeah, I've done a lot of Hondas, I think all years with this, and this was like really, really fast. I'm going to put a link down to this in the video's description. I just definitely wanted to show you guys this tool. Um, so basically what I'm going to do now is change it from this screen to uh, I'm going to connect it to my car. This connects to your car's OBD2 port. All right, so I'm just going to connect it to my vehicle's OBD2 port. Just plugs in. And then the bottom will light up green and then blue once it's connected to your phone. So now I'm going to go to the screen record to record the screen while I go through the options and show you guys what this tool is like. All right. So now I'm back um, with the video right now. I'm showing you guys my screen itself um, on my phone. So you can hear my voice. I'm still in my vehicle. It's plugged in. Um, so basically it has vehicle coverage on the top, all systems, main functions, OBD2. Then we have reports, we have history, we have report library. So then also, so I'm gonna start at the bottom. So basically this is a store, this is a lifetime. So this shows you the vehicle diagnostic software. These are all the software that it has. Um, I did try to program a Range Rover, it did not work. Um, it, 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 it's, it's good for certain cars, especially uh, Hondas and Acuras, it works great. So for my Honda and Acura people that want the tool this is it this is fast it scans your vehicle pretty quickly so then this is the next one that we have here this is kind of like a chat uh then we have service and help interactive messages notice online services and then this is what it tells you how many days you have and the device that you have it has reports my orders diagnostic feedback firmware fix that's for updates contact us download management and then we have settings then we have unit measurement, account management, language, notifications, blocked account, clean catchy. Okay, so now I'm going to go to the options that you guys are pretty sure that you guys want to know. Okay, so um, history is basically vehicles that you connected to. Then we have repair library, so um, you can recall a record. Okay, and then we have gadgets here, different tools that they have. You can actually use the flashlight and it'll turn on the flashlight on your phone. Uh, these are other devices that they have that I guess can connect to this. So then we have the um, maintenance function. So these are basically like oil maintenance reset, a mobilizer reset. This is the option that you would go to um, if you were going to uh, program a key. But I'm going to go through that options with you so I can show you guys exactly where to go. All right. Oh, speaking of that, yesterday I did uh, ignition on uh, Acura TL uh, 2000 and what was it? I think it was a 2005. I did an ignition on it with the, using this tool and it was quick and easy. This tool can do it. It can do, um, if you get a new computer or you get a new immobilizer in the ignition, this can program it in also, just to let you guys know. Um, the electronic throttle relearn, this right here is also to clear the throttle's memory. Like say, if you clean the throttle body, you can use this tool to clear the memory. Then we have the ABS bleed in. We got the brake reset, diesel particular filter regeneration, TPMS reset, steering angle reset. So this is for the people that have the VSA light on the dashboard, the triangle light. Uh, this can reset it from this tool. Okay, so then we have the injector coating. You would go to steering, steering angle reset to do that. Um, then we got injector coating, gearbox relearn, battery matching, EGR valve adaptation, sunroof initialization, air level calibration, and adaptive front lighting. Okay, those are the special functions that it has. Okay, yeah. So then we have OBD functions. So basically right now it's connecting to the car. It's pretty quick. 
it's loading up right now. The device turned blue on the bottom, the OBD, showing that it's connected now. So right now it's just loading. Okay. This tool is really easy to use and it's very, very handy. And some of the situations where my auto failed, well, this is just scanning the car system. I'm going to go to all system diagnostics. I'm going to get to the, the good stuff so you guys can see. Hold on, let me just back out real quick so I can show you guys the all systems. Okay, so then these, they have, these are the car brands. I don't know if it pulls pin codes for um, Fords and stuff like that. I have no idea. I haven't used that on them. Also, mostly what I've done is use this on uh, Hondas and Acuras. And it works phenomenally, especially for the newer ones, the newer Acuras. This, this tool is amazing. But like I said, I'll link it down in the video's description. It's been a lot. It's been a long time since I've seen an OBD that can do just as much as some of these handhelds. And this is the tool. I don't recommend a lot of tools, but I recommend this one. All right. Um, well, I recommend a lot of tools, but this one is, is really good. So then we have the 16 pin. You go to 16 pin USA. Okay. So while it's loading up doesn't really take longs really quick okay so now okay so this is health report health report is basically able to scan all the systems in your vehicle and tell you which ones have issues and which ones have problems excuse me and then we have system scan so basically what system scan is it'll basically go through all the car systems scans everything you know let me turn the car off put it in accessory mode I had the car running this whole time. I should have just put it in accessory mode. So that's why now it's picking back up from where it started from scanning. Right now, the OBD2 is blinking. The blue light is blinking on the bottom. I guess letting you know that it's communicating with the device. So it's scanning through all the systems to let me know what's going on in the, in the vehicle. This also has special functions where you can test different modules in the car system and i'm going to also show you guys where you guys go to to put in a new ecu or put in a um a new immobilizer ignition okay so this is showing you all the systems that's equipped on it um I don't know if you guys want a health system scan. So basically, I'm just, well, the health report, like I said, it's just like that. The system scan, then we have the system selection. These are the different modules in the vehicle that you have. As I'm scrolling through, I'm just showing you guys. Okay. So this, I got to explain this to you guys so you guys can understand this because somebody without the experience not using the tool wouldn't know these things. So I'm going to kind of try to explain it to you. Okay. So if you're going to do for a push to start vehicle like a push to start honda or acura you would go to keyless access remote okay and then you would go to registration here on the bottom here and then you would go to programming okay now if you're going to program a regular key like the turnkey you go to a mobilizer okay this is the system that you'd be going to okay but this is not an this is not a regular mobilizer system on this vehicle um, it's a push to start. So I'm gonna show you guys right here. See, it says keys. It says race some um, replace the mobilizer unit, replace ECPM. This one actually works. Um, and then it says keyless transmitter registration. That's for push start keys. And then it says replace the MPCS, MICU. That's like the ABS module and stuff like that. This can do all of that from your phone. This thing is amazing. Okay. So I'm just letting you guys know that this right here, one push to start. This is the option that you go to if you have an Acura or a Honda that has um, push to start and you want to install the remote start module in the vehicle. The remote start module, you have to go to two-way keyless access. You got to go to keyless access control unit from here. Okay. And then you go to, um, what is it? Registration. Right here on the phone. And it'll communicate with the vehicle. Then you go to keys. And then you go to two-way keyless access setup. This is how you would also add a push start key to your push start vehicle. Okay. 
See, it says add a Honda Smart Key. This is a process that you would go to add the Honda Smart Key process. But the two-way keyless access process, you would have to do that first. Turn it over to key um two um two-way, and then add the key, and then the remote start key will work. Okay. But like I said, it has all these options here. Then it has the actuation test, where you can test different modules on the vehicle. The mobilizer driving indicators, you can check all of that. It can check the, the options in your vehicle, like if you have all of that. Key switch driving, driving antenna, cabin front antenna driving. So many different things. And then we got the read faults, read data stream, self-check, history, system information, customization. All that function is not supported on this vehicle. Backup, control unit, power control unit. Okay. Then it got the collision mitigation braking system, super handling system, where you can go to them and they have special options that you can test different modules on your vehicle. I just want to give you guys a thorough run through of this because there's a lot that this can do. So then we have special functions here. You can write VIN. Look at that. You can write the VIN, throttle learning, uh, idle stop start counter clear. I don't know about all that. I haven't used most of these, but these are all the other options that are here that I'm telling you guys about. Um, so the actuation test is modules on the vehicle. Look, the EVAP test. You can do an EGR valve test, VTEC test, uh, regular test, fuel pump on, injectors on, radiator fan. 12 volt battery fan test, all of this. All of this you can access through this device to your car from your cell phone. This is why I'm showing you guys this on my phone, okay? Then that was just one system, the engine control module. Then they got that control, the engine mount control system. There's actually a system for the engine mounts in the car. So we got an actuation test. We can go to that, look, front ACM solenoid, rear ACM solenoid, front and rear ACM solenoid. So it'll test the solenoids on the engine mounts. It's amazing. It's amazing. This tool can do all of this and more. And more. But I just wanted to make a quick video for you guys to show you guys how amazing this tool is. Um, like I said, if you guys are interested, the link will be down in the video's description. Um, if you guys have any questions, uh, just feel free to ask. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Peace out.